the people what's going on with y'all we right back in this joint not to waste no time we're gonna get straight into the joint this joint right here is on tupac how he sold the soul it's like how kind they said oh i sold my soul for happy meal at least you know so at least it came with a few toys like happy you know all that type of shit like that so the opening line in good life this is a song from tupac what album was this on uh i think it was on one of them double disc albums i forgot i forgot i don't remember i think it was on like the good life it had big psych on that joke Ah, damn, I don't remember. But you know, I remember the song. I remember the lyrics. So he said in the first the first opening line, I was saying like the third line actually, in the first, you know, couple bars, I sold my soul for a chance to kick it and bang. Now tell me if I'm wrong. But saying fuck the world got you deeper in my songs. You see what I'm saying? He knew what he was doing. Tupac was no idiot. Cause even when he was a little ass nigga, 17, speaking with the goddamn the lisp and all that shit. Do I need to bring that in this video too? Tupac switched his style up multiple times. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it, bro. Let's get into it. We ain't hold no punches for this. This is what I'm saying. It's Pac. But guess what? Nigga was a goddamn sellout. So let's get it right here. Now fuck that, because they were trying to hide some of the joints. Let's get straight into it. We ain't even hold no punches for this. So Tupac, yeah, he sold up. Because if he didn't, why you do this? Why are you covering your eyes? And then you did this. You did that. Then you did this. And then you did this. Nigga got his motherfucking ass crack up, brother. What the fuck is he doing, bro? The fuck is he doing? So, you know, I was a Tupac fan for years. Um, I had took the picture off my wall. I had a picture on my wall. It was like 98. Ripped that joint off the wall. I was like, no point in just, well, let me just take this off. And let me save it. You know what I'm saying? No. No. When you unplug, that's completely unplugged. I mean, rip, I took that shit, I ripped it up, threw it in the trash. Man. Now, if I listen to a Tupac song now, it's because I may reminisce. I'm like, damn. Cause it, and it was tough, too. It was tough. Don't don't think it wasn't tough. I used to listen to Tupac. My dad got me on Tupac when I was younger. So, you know, I listen to every Tupac song, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the sad part. Like, why are you looking up to these rappers? You know what I'm saying? Like, for us as young kids, we may not, we may have like little little issues like connecting with like you know father figures grandfather figures not to say that they're not there but in the music it just hits you differently but at the same time these niggas was lying to us they was finessing us they was playing man let's get into the video man because i'm wasting a little too much time i ain't wasting time but you know i'm just talking here let's get it look at this photo and tell me how many brothers in the chat right now would take a photo like this let's I'm not taking spread nothing like this. all the way Look, 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 look. I ain't even taking no picture like this for no shorty. Look, like, let me get a couple pictures like this for you. Hell nah, we ain't doing none of that shit, bitch. You better be in this motherfucker. Open Come almost on. like spread eagle style. Arms up. That's a mm -hmm. submissive position right there, first of all. Okay? That's a submissive position. Gold all around the private area. Okay? And a body full of tattoos. How many of y'all would take a photo like that? How many? This photo don't say, oh, Tupac was submit. Y'all don't see what this says? Look. Just look. Shout out to this channel right here, by the way, because she dropping the truth. Shout out to this channel right here. You know what I'm saying? Just look. Talk. I'm not understanding. And guess what? If he wanted to do it, still. He was a submissive bitch that wanted to do it. I can say whatever I want. I just said it. It don't matter. He was in movies. Guess what? He Remember said contract. Movies, exactly. He sold his soul. Period. He was a exactly. submissive bitch. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like he this was a right submissive here is, bitch. We gotta make a video on this. We ain't giving no two part, no goddamn pass. Yeah, he got good music. Hella niggas follow this goddamn blueprint. You got Juice World, you got nigga King Bun, you got a lot of these niggas. Fix their death, all that bullshit, bro. You just get tired and these niggas put all the clues in their music. Hey, you searching and searching the whole time these niggas is kicking it with their homies and smoking the blunt and they fucking alive, getting money. You know what I'm saying? Feeding off of your 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 support for them. Oh, you crying and shit. You ain't never met them in your damn life. You crying, you shedding tears, these niggas alive. What's wrong with these cats, bro? Tupac was a goddamn puppet from the beginning. Everything about that nigga, fuck shit, bro. The fake ass beef with Biggie, and it was homeboys in the Jurassic Five. You know what I'm saying? Um, even like uh, Diddy, how they was, you know, beefing with Diddy and all that shit. <sighs> Tupac just played the fucking part. You see, the thing about Tupac, he kind of remind me of like Young Pharrell before Young Pharrell, because Tupac was very smart. 
But at the same time, when you start waking up other people, you think these people are going to be stupid? Nigga, we listen to you. So we know what it is. We ain't stupid. We, first of all, we wasn't stupid from the beginning. We listen to you, we get more help. And then now we understand exactly what you want. So let's get it. He got good music. I still listen to his music too. That don't take away the fact that he was a submissive bitch. No, I don't listen See, a lot to of like people, they, they got I listen they to him, I got my mind open on what it is. Everybody looking at him like he was somebody to look up to. I, no, sorry. Tupac ain't shit or nobody to look up to. I'm big. See, did y'all want to. And we call this nigga the greatest of all time. You the, gro you the goat? Nigga, yeah, you the goat. The, the bathroom, man. You want to sit in the goddamn tub? You sit in no tub. How many niggas did this tub shit? You got, I don't know how to get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get it, bro. How many niggas did this tub shit, bro? Let me just look at this shit. Remake. They got a bunch of jumps. Oh, they got Janae Aiko in the jump. They got your boy Jaquees that did it. But uh, you see how they switched it up. They put the Supreme draws on and shit like this nigga Pac was butt ass naked in that motherfucker. Look, even the unreleased jump. This nigga Pac was all the way out there on some on some weird shit. Come on, man. You, how the fuck you thug life and you doing shit like this, nigga? No wonder niggas are talking about you got raped in jail and all that shit like that. Now, that's savage shit, but come on, Pac. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You play all these movie roles and you're doing all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't a good look getting this bathtub doing that. And then remember, remember even for this, how Janet Dyson wanted this nigga to take like hella HIV tests. Because you probably knew that nigga was a gay ass nigga. Let's be honest. Nigga, <laughs> nigga was appalled by that, but nigga, you taking bathtub pics and shit like that. You got Quincy Jones talking, you know what I'm saying? Let's get back to the video, cause you know, ha, this is how you going in on this nigga. It's like kind of the raw truth. People. Let me give you the raw truth. I'm, I'm not gonna fucking play around no more. Okay, I'm finna. This is the raw truth. And I see. I was trying to, to watch my mouth more and more at first. Coming out day by day. Oh, Tupac this survived. Is you know what I'm saying? He survived. You know what I'm saying? Tupac is really alive. But let's just tell yeah, the truth and really shame alive. the doubt. But at the same time, the okay, I'm, a, thing, I, I'm not gonna say I'm a fan. I fucks with his music. I fuck with this music. I can never be a fan of anybody that sold they sold to the Baphomet to go Lucy. I'm just sorry. It's too much even when demonic shit going on already. Look at what, what uh, Will Nas X just did. That shit is just plain and blatant in your face. But we'll talk about that another time. Anyway, Lord, now trying to go to I'm, not dis I'm not going to discredit him to to and, and right talk now. about in his this, talent. He's very to to talented. Hill. But what I'm saying is the elites of the world take people like That's why even me from the beginning I like, who the fuck is Lil Nas X? Nigga got his name after Nas. Nigga, do you know who Nas is? Nas is a lyricist. Not to even say that Nas is clean, because Nas got, you know, we will get on Nas too. Because Nas had the Amy Winehouse connections, all that type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the ill will connection, sacrificial stuff for success. Yeah, man, yeah. It's, it's, it's all in plain sight. It's all kind of really easy to tell now. now I'm, I'm glad that my eyes opened up to this stuff, bro, because if not, it'll fly over your head. Now I got like, you know, some of my parents, they'll tell me, oh, KRS1, he was rapping about this and this. And this nigga whole time putting on a suit to be a woman. I'm like, I don't listen to that shit, bro. Like, really? To be 100% honest with y'all, I listen to hip-hop meditation music. I listen to, like, space music. You know what I'm saying? Like, meditation, all meditation. I may listen to the instrumentals. I listen to my own music, you know what I'm saying? I listen to, like, you know, some chill shit, but... I don't want to get too into the raps no more because that's like spells being casted on you. And if you think I'm lying, go ahead and bump that shit all day and see if your vibes get low. Because believe it or not, they got 440, uh, 2 hertz. They got all these hertz that you're not even supposed to be intaking. And then you wonder why you're getting so low because it's a frequency. And then it's a spell with what they're saying in their music. So it's deep. And they use them for their own the benefit. So yes, he might have wanted to take that photo. He might have wanted to, nah, nah, nah. no have wanted to sign that blood, his uh, that contract in blood. He might wanted to do this, but again, he was. We gotta stop giving niggas passes. We give everybody a pass. We get Michael Mess a pass. We get Pharaoh a pass. And I don't know too out. many men that want to be a submissive bitch. But if that's what he wanted to do, he did a damn good job at doing it. Okay. Doing shit like this I have to be honest. Roles. See, I was trying to be careful at first. 
I, you know, because I know people get sensitive and shit. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, he on his Trey song shit time. right here with the, the the water dripping down on his face and chest and shit. But because a nigga has got a little bit of build and got a little bit of muscle and shit and got a body full of tattoos that make him what? Exactly. That, that, that make him what? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. See, this is why I stay away from Tupac because people tend to get real sensitive. <laughs> okay, people tend to get real sensitive when it comes to Tupac. I'm Tupac, just saying. At they this don't... point, if you're getting real sensitive, then you just still program. You plugged in. You know what I'm saying? The proof is right here. The man, the damn bathtub. What you mad for? What you mad for? You know what I'm saying? Did I just uh, show that lyric? I showed the lyric, right? How you were saying soul to soul. Let's go back. Put on that. It's a good life. Tupac, good life lyric. He said he sold his soul in the opening jump. I sold my soul for a chance to kick it and bang. You know what that means? I sold my soul for a chance to kick it. To kick it with the homies. To bang. To perpetrate. To be on this fake gang shit. Because the nigga had the blue flag. He had the red flag. You feel me? All that shit. M.O.B. M.O.B. All that shit. He was not gang affiliated. Because look at his Baltimore videos back when he was a little nigga in the performing arts school. The nigga... He was not on that. Not at all. He was not on that, bro. He was not even on that. So what made you get this? This is like Chris Brown. Nigga get money. Next thing you know, you blood. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You was not blood when you was 16, though. When you came in the game. You were this nigga NLA chopper. Coon ass. Gonna make a, a song. What is it? Bryson? And then after that, you make a picture of me rapping or whatever. Picture me rolling like, you know, a tribute. But that shit garbage. <laughs> Stop. You got Danny Boy. Danny Boy just... He trying to get his little five minutes of fame. That shit didn't run out. Look, even Orlando um, Anderson looked exactly like how Tupac looked back in the day, right? And that's another thing that's crazy because, you know, Tupac was playing roles. This nigga looked like Pac. Got the eyebrows, all that shit. Shit is spooky, bro. Some of this stuff is cap. Oh, yeah, let's look at this joint. Look at this joint. Let's look at this one. Solely because of oh, Snoop is cap. Puffy and Biggie doing the interview with you. Tupac took it as if I wasn't down with him no more, as if I was side busted. As if I was scared. This is why we have to not give him no pass. Cause look, we got niggas like Young Pharaoh. They'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm riding for you, Pop. Cause he had a song, what is it called, New Pop? And like, it's like people like this that know exactly what these people was on. Ain't no way you don't know. You do all this research on Epstein, you do all this research. You do. You mean to tell me you don't know Tupac was a goddamn sellout? Yeah, right, nigga. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. You just cooning. You capitalizing off of what the people don't know and you putting it in the nigga face. See, I ain't doing this for no cap. I'm doing this to wake the people up. Just to let y'all know. If you feel sensitive about it, it's all good. How you think I felt? But guess what? I don't give a damn. I don't know no damn Tupac. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, I listen to his music growing up. But guess what, nigga? I'm a man. I don't give a fuck. I'm not about to do no shit like that. Get in no damn bathtub. You know what I'm saying? Get in the bathtub. You butt ass neck and shit. You doing shit for music roles, uh, videos and stuff. The nigga even said it even in that, at a Good Life song. Maybe if I died, they came back. Wouldn't have to slang crack. You feel me? If I died and came back. Yeah, you did. You died and came back as a killed the MC. Let's get it. That's bro looked at me as like a traitor the next day. I actually had to fly back home from New York. And normally on a private plane, it'd be Pac, his security, me, my security, Shug, and a couple of his homies. This time I go to the airport, my security walking with me. Shug like, hold up, they can't roll. They gotta catch a regular flight. So now I'm like, that's not a good sign. Okay. First of all, Pac ain't said to me though, from that moment on. But everybody else has security. Yeah. I seen it happen. I know how to get down. I so. was just gonna say, I, oh, that's I know, what my mind was wondering. I know how to get down. Yeah. I'm not a stranger to danger. I'm starting to think Angela Martinez so is playing a role, bro. Cause her weight be so fluctuating. Not to say that she can't get older, cause she got older. Pac right here. But I don't even know, cause right she be around here. a lot of coons, bro. There's no way that she don't know. Do she like knows this. about this coon shit. So I walk to the back of the plane. Give me a blanket. Grab me a knife and a fork. Put the blanket over my, over my nose right here. My, uh, my low black glasses on and ride like this the whole flight. Hoping one of them come with me so I can stab everybody on this month. Now, I wanted to point that out. Was like, remember when Tupac 
Not Tupac. Remember when this nigga was on on um nigga was going to jail for like a murder. Nigga was on trial for, for murder and shit. He beat the shit, right? Wonder how he did that. Got the connections and shit. Now you just this man had his own mother. Yeah, I wait for one of the motherfuckers to do something on stab and shit. You gonna stab Tupac because you betrayed the nigga? But Tupac was a fraud anyway, but you was drawing the lines with Biggie. Even though all this shit is bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. But this nigga was talking about, oh, I'm waiting for these niggas. I'll stab one. Don't stop playing, bro. But you seen him at the MTV Awards. Nigga ain't want no bucks. Hours, like, don't nobody say one word to me. Not one word. It's having conversations and doing all kinds of things. saying nothing to me. Now we land. My Rolls Royce, Tupac Rolls Royce, Suge Rolls Royce. We step off the plane. I'm like, Pop, you going to Vegas to the fight? I said, That's the last time I seen my live. <laughs> but that was your nigga, though. We need niggas frauds, bro. Fraud ass niggas, man. Let's put a little bit of something else in there. Ah, no, that's bullshit. I ain't gonna put that in there. What else could we put in there? Tupac lady said he sold his soul. Um. Tupac did sell out, bro. It's a lot of clues of him selling out. The multiple IDs, the fucking, the weight switching, the goddamn height switching. Look, this nigga's playing rules, bro. Look at this. Even this. Publicity stunt. Nah, it's fucked up because Tupac came off as real, but this nigga was a... He just played the role, bro. He did what he had to do to propel, to get his fucking career to the next level. Nigga got tricked by the industry. And then you was tricking yourself. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Let's bring it back. Because, like, there's no cap. Let me see. Tupac, Digital Underground. Digital Underground. This motherfucker was on stage in the drawers, all that all that wild shit. Before blowing up. And then Shock G, you know, um, magically died. What, this year? Yeah, this year. Nigga looked just like, uh, what's that nigga? Pooh Shasta. I don't listen to Pooh Shasta. Pooh Shasta just... Sound like he got nasal problems anyway. Like, <laughs> and notice, look, the motherfucking nose, the goddamn nose. So that motherfucker probably got some shit in his nose or something. Come on, you gotta type exactly what you want. Tupac Digital Underground Dance. Yeah, type that shit in. Look at this nigga. Come on, man, he was doing this shit early. What? Who the fuck wanna see this shit? Nigga on goddamn stage like that. Who told you to perform like that? Oh, Shock G told me to perform like that. I had to get my deal. But yeah, we're going to come right back with another video. This video is long enough. We're going to come right back with another video. I had to touch on your boy Tupac, man. Yeah, <laughs> You know, we're going to touch on another thing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to be sensitive. But it is what it is. Come on, man. It's a gay shit. But yeah, man. Tupac got whored out by the goddamn ministry. Uh, Snoop Dogg is still a coon nigga. He's still a coon nigga. All them niggas was in on it. They knew what it was. They cooned out. You know what I'm saying? Thighs at 57. Yeah, okay. Shit is cap, bro. Cap. All bullshit. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, though, bro. We about to jump right back at y'all. Holla at me.